Today, I have something very important to speak to the entire world about. I'm here to speak about some of the bravest men and women to have ever lived. Martin Luther King, Nelson Mandela, Rosa Parks, Abraham Lincoln, veterans, even Minecraft YouTubers bow down to these people. People is an understatement. These beings are gods. Gods even may be an understatement. I, of course, am down by people who work in hotels. You may scoff, but only true intellectuals realise how brave, heroic and courageous people who work in hotels are. The hard sacrifices these people must make, such as having to know about every molecule in every hotel at any point, past, present or future. And that is only the tip of the iceberg. As you know, to work in a hotel takes 22 years of training at the bare minimum. Once knowing this, they gain many powers, such as super speed, flights, superhuman endurance, water breathing, time travel, and of course, a slightly larger PP than average. One daring man, God rest his soul, I used to know, decided to step into this business of gods, having only trained seven years first. Unfortunately, he died the minute he stepped into the workplace. The intensity he experienced was too much, and he instantly died due to unknown levels of arousal. Truly a tragic case. That is only the beginning of the countless deaths which have occurred in the hotel workplace. I have made a slideshow just showing some of the brave people who have passed away due to working in a hotel. That was heartbreaking. As you may know, people who worked in a hotel have a near 100% chance of death within the next 400 years of their lives due to the stress which comes along with us. Many famous people have worked in hotels, but probably one of the most famous of these is Donald Trump, current president of the United States of America. People said they voted for Trump as he's a businessman, he's an outsider and they want the wall. Those people are buffoons. I voted for Trump as he worked in a hotel before. Some people say that working in the Oval Office is the hardest job in the world. These people obviously have never worked in a hotel. Donald Trump decided to be president not to serve the American people, but as a vacation from working in a hotel, as one cannot go from something as intense as working in a hotel to simply relaxing. That would be as insane as pushing somebody who's bathing in liquid nitrogen and teleported them to the core of the sun. Something as crazy as that would kill a man. All in all, it is my great honour to present this great speech to everyone who worked in a hotel. I would sacrifice my life for you. Thank you. And anyone who dares mocking people who worked in a hotel, I'm going to tell your parent and guardian. Thank you for listening to me. <laughs>